this team just makes me sick. They just do not stop winning, right? Everything they do, they just win. It doesn't matter how much a team may stay in the game. You know, looked at Brentford, then they conceded 1-1. Before you know it, it's done. Everton done extremely well in their defensive structure up until the 71st minute when that robot scored, you know, and actually then again, he scored again. You know, Jared Branthwaite hold that one, I suppose, because, yeah, you're going to be put in a meme. Um, but you're a kid, and I thought you had a fantastic game. We clearly see that you're carrying a knock as well. A few of the boys were in that Everton side. But this is what you got to do. If you want to be at the top level, you got to compete with strikers such as Harlan, who is the best number nine in the world. That man is just inevitable, and that's just a fact, right? Definitely deserve the win, Manchester City. Don't let any rival fans tell you that you did not deserve this up until a point. Of course, you know, ever were in a game there, you know, the game plan was was wicked, um, at, you know, until, up until they conceded that goal. And I think that just deflated them and their mentality just goes through. Man City have won how many games out of how many games at this point in time? I think I didn't do any stats or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure it's like 11 or 12 in 13 games, 14 games, something stupid like that. And the same way Liverpool fans have, you know, minced up and including myself, by the way. So I'm not going to be the one to take away any credit or be a little bit two-faced towards it, you know, where they've only lost two games in the last 36 signed games. You know, that's just, This is the same thing with Manchester City. The same thing we've been praising Liverpool about, we can definitely praise Man City about. You know, this game for me, that ended 2-0, was just getting the job done, getting it over the line. And this is what makes champions champions. This is what you call business end of the season. I hate this team. I hate this club. But I do like their fans. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Look, I live with a Man City fan. It's called Daps, if you don't know. And then obviously the Ste and everything. They're going to be down here at some point before they go um, watch some of the games down here, down south. Because obviously, yes, I am from south. Have you not recognised my accent? But the whole point is, yeah, Man City deserved that, man. Look, Haaland's inevitable. KDB came on, changed the game a little bit. With, and I thought there was one tactical aspect that really changed the game. And I have got criticisms for this game as well. And it's not even at the team. Actually, to be fair, it's that one player uh, in particular and also at the manager. You know, Sean Dyche would have thought that they were hard done by, but he can admit, you know, you know, your time's up, mate. Like, you've done all you could, right? But there was one tactical tweak that I liked. Um, I well, From a neutral view, of course, if I'm going to look at it a little bit objective, is, is Kyle Walker coming on. Kyle Walker coming on for a Kanji, in my opinion, changed everything because... It stopped Foden going out wide so much. It just allowed Walker to hold the whip and then make them overlapping runs that he makes to, and cause a nuisance a little bit. Yes, did it did it work in theory because it didn't lead to a goal? But the whole point is, is piling on the pressure when you need a goal. You can't play well all the time. I don't think there was any outstanding performances, even though Haaland scored two goals. This has just been the case of his career at Manchester City. You don't need to play well. He just needs a chance and he buries it. I, I thought that finish, I think that was on his right foot as well, if I, I believe. That was a hard finish. Pickford nearly got finger, he got fingertips to that. That was a very good finish. Do not underrate that finish, right? I thought Pep Guardiola nearly got this game really wrong. I did not like his starting 11 and no likes to rotate a little bit, but I thought you would learn that if you're going to start Foden, right, at least playing through the middle. This out, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of Alvarez behind Haaland. I just don't know what about it, but it doesn't work for me. And if you're going to play Stones, why do you play Nunes? Right? Because, like, I, I hear it. You're trying to give Nunes ample amount of opportunities uh, from Pep Guardiola's perspective um, to see where he can fit and get in this game. He had a horrible game, by the way. He did not do anything right, even, to, even in terms of jewels. And I don't think that's his fault. He's playing in a position or a role that he's not meant to. He's he's playing, obviously, Stones inverts next to Rodri, and then you've got Nunes with Alvarez behind Haaland. Doku as well, like, he had a bit of a slow start until about the 25th minute. He started putting on the burners and, and really beating his man in Godfrey to the point where Godfrey got injured. Um, but I didn't really like the folding out wide. I know he said that he can play multiple positions. And maybe in hindsight, if you took that really into consideration, you probably knew that Foden was going to play out, right? They really need to play Bernardo Silva, probably giving them a rest. You've got the uh, Champions League midweek, and obviously Bernardo's going to want that game. You know, KDB, you're going to want him fit for that game. You want to go through and absolutely smash Copenhagen to bits, right? But I just thought, no, nah, just play Foden down the middle. Like, Grealish has not had a lot of minutes. You could play um, Doku on the on the right-hand side as well, and then maybe you could play Grealish off the left. I thought this could be a game for even maybe someone like Oscar Bob, but I hear it. You know, Everton are physical side. They're a tall team. And, and I think Calvert-Lewin done a very good job, obviously, but his link-up play was not great. 
But he had a really good battle with uh, the centre backs in Ruben Diaz and whatnot. So I just thought Pep Guardiola nearly got this game wrong. And obviously KDB, you can't just rush him and think he's going to play his 90 minutes and then play 90 minutes against Copenhagen. Because I think KDB is probably excited to play some Champions League ball. And that's probably what's in Pep's mind. Who knows what's in that bald man's mind, right? But I just thought, yeah, got it wrong. But then he corrected it. KDB coming on lifted the temp tempo, excuse me, by a million, million miles. Um, but yeah, guys, look, please smash the like button if you're here at this moment in time. Just, if you hear this voice, just pause the video and please like and subscribe. I'm being objective. In these videos, I like to be objective, whether it's Liverpool, Arsenal, City, uh, not so much Man United because I can't stand them at times. But yeah, on, on rival teams, I try to be objective about the game. But you know what? It's, it's, if I'm an Everton fan, I'd, I would be slightly disappointed because you know what? There were moments where Howard Lewin did control the ball, but he just didn't bring anybody into play. And, you know, I think it was evident from the first half as well. You know, he could have put in Jack Harrison. There was another time when I think it's the first one where he could have put in Dwight McNeil when he made that overlapping run and Akanji couldn't keep up. And there's little bits and bobs and they just had no attacking power. Let's be real. Like, I'm not even too sure what opportunities Everton really had towards goal. Because last, I think they had in the first half, I believe they finished with something along the lines of like four shots in the, and one shot on target. Just like Brentford game, by the way, people. One shot on target the whole game. And that doesn't, that, that's criminally underrated, by the way. That is really criminally underrated to, to, to make sure a team only has one shot on target. And it doesn't get praised enough. And the thing is, something that Man City haven't done in such a long time is actually keep a clean sheet, right? So they kept a clean sheet against a team that's quite good when it comes to set pieces. But even then, like Man City literally limited Everton from set pieces as well. If you go look at how many corners they had, they had none, zero. And they had, they had what, what, two, three free kicks? So on that notice, I think on a job defensively, I think Pep Guardiola would be very, very, um, very, very pleased because it's just, it's something that they probably have been working on. I think John Stones comes coming into the team goes to show how much you really miss this man in defence. And then you could even hear the City fans singing a Johnny Stones song, that like best defence in Europe, right? So, and you don't really hear that too much because even Daps have refused to, to um, sing that song because they haven't had the best defence in Europe at that moment of time. But yeah, it was a good clean sheet. And now it piles on pressure for the Arsenal game on Sunday and obviously Liverpool playing in, what, 20 minutes time. So... Yeah, man, pressure's on. The pressure's on, and it's a, it's a big three points. This game is this game matters so much. You know, in like I said, you can't play well in every game. It's about getting the job done, and this is exactly what Manchester City did. They got the job done. Liverpool, you're next. You're probably going to smash Burnley. Let's be honest. Probably got a jot hat trick incoming. Um, I'm not giving no betting tips. I don't do that. Um, but yeah, man, look, you had most of the ball. I don't think in terms of cr ch chances created, Man City weren't the greatest either. But you just you scored when it mattered and when it came up, and that's that. Um. But yeah, look, you had most of the ball. I think it was something stupid, like 74, 75% possession. And you had 10 goal attempts. You got the job done. Well done, Manchester City. Another three points in the quest of a, well, right now as it stands, I believe you're top of the league. So let's see how long that lasts. And you know what? Big up to everyone. Make sure you smash the like button. And I'll see you in the next one. And yeah, man, it might be some Liverpool praise. Who knows?